Okay everyone, hello. So it's time to talk about some 1v1 scenario. Um, they're gonna be against, I guess, Spearmaster and then Chanter. Um, this is with the extendable, so obviously there's a little more advantage that I have, but at the same time, I still think there are some useful things we can kind of learn from watching, so. Okay, this first duel against the Spearmaster, um, I played it like, I ran off at max range and I stayed as far as I could for like the duration of using all my range skills. I should have done that for like more of the duels than I just did, but it's a really good tactic because you don't want them lending a lot of their debuffs right away. And then you can see that I got lucky with the remove shock pretty quickly. He popped his um, absorb, the 3k one that your pets have, but keeping the pressure is like really not too bad with the extent we'll have to say. Still manages to weasel away though. <laughs> As you can see, he's going to do it right now when he roots me. At this point, um, he's got a lot of debuffs on me. I'm stripped and I'm slow, so I'm trying to catch up this pretty. And I'm not silenced though, so I just yell myself and then some strike. Yep. So, I mean, the point there is that Spearmasters are pretty hard, but. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the next duel, which is. Okay, this one I tried a little different. I just go like all the way to him. See, there, I don't have a jump shot now. The um, heal they have from the remove shock is pretty nice too. And as you can see there, I'm like stuck in place, but I get in range luckily to just like hit him with a stun. But he pops stone skin there as I use my knockdown, so I was like, no. Would have been perfect other one. I also want to say that I dispelled Shackle. I waited for that to go become the first debuff and then pop dispel because Shackle is like the worst thing ever. But at this point, like, he's still got a pretty nice um, amount of HP, he's got stone skin that I just broke. But everything's pretty much in his favor, so I don't think I can recover from, like, that. Especially since I didn't stun him right there. Yeah. But I mean, you know, still the same kind of idea. Spearmasters are a toss-up, in my opinion. If you don't get them stunned nicely or knocked down, like, with GoRNG, then, you know, <laughs> you're kind of, like, in a bad way. At least that's the way I look at it. Okay, um, I guess we'll look at another one. Again, if there's a common theme in each one of these duels is that he removes shocks really quickly because I get it off as soon as I can. It's really important. You can see though there's an unpotable sound and bind. I dispelled the bind with like three seconds left just because, you know, why not? And then I get him like in a nice chain where he gets that potable silenced and it's just not good for him. Problem though is like he's still mm -hmm. snared me and it's like really hard to catch up when I have um... And it's really close here too as you can see like he actually still gets me because like I didn't AP pot and I should've. Cause you know, I mean... Most people probably wouldn't want to in a duel, but I like to use them as practice for a real fight, so... Yeah, who knows? Might have been able to. Still a good fight, though, as you can see. Like, this is kind of the basic workings of Spearmaster Enchanter. I mean, obviously extendable again, but... Okay, so for this one, um, again, look at that quick remove shock and then stun lock. I also try to weave, like, it's not perfect, but in between, like, my skills, like, and the chains too, not just between, like, everything. Depends though, if he's burning like this, I don't weave that much. Try to back shock him there, but I got out of range. Oh no, I was body rooted, sorry. Quickly, um, dispelled it though, and used one of my skills, and there he got stun locked. So I think that does it for the Spirit Master. I have a bunch of channel duels, I'll just use this one person I dueled a bunch. Uh, they're channel duels, so they are pretty long, but Your is too far away. I won't use too many. I'll just use like two maybe. Or maybe I won't, I don't know, we'll see. You can always learn from watching duel videos, I guess. 
Anyway, the basic premise of Channer v. Channer at the very start is to make the other guy use as much cooldowns as he can before you use, you use all your cooldowns. As you can see there, like I haven't used anything yet, but I'm pretty sure he already eats the heal. Because the emphasis is you want them locked, and you don't want to be locked. He wasted Disorienting Blow there, so I remove Shocked it just because that's a guaranteed knockdown skill that he wasted on the same cooldown as remove Shock. The extendable is really nice, as you can see there. It's just like hit, 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 hit. Okay, he popped his um, Blessing of Wind and Unstoppable, so what I actually do is I kind of just let him run around. Like, I don't get too close to him. We're both magic resist, by the way, so it's like it doesn't really matter. Soul Crush, I rush off that too. Oh, I pop my cooldowns as well. See there. Another important thing is to make him think that he's got like an advantage so he can charge you, but I still have my ward up, he's silenced. See, I haven't popped it there when he got like tried to burst me again. And at this point, he's trying to get out of range, but guess what? Mountain crash. Oh, he even jump shot it. Nice. Yeah, well, that's some um, basically chanters. I guess I can do another one. Let's look at the next one. Okay, wait. This one's two minutes as well. Yeah, we can stick with two minutes. Why not? So I let him, like, just as you see there, he used every, like, DPS skill at the very start. Which I think, in my opinion, is, like, a big waste, like, using those knockdowns, etc. just at the very start, because, like... Really, there's no point in, like, wasting your big damage when your opponent still can use everything, like, in my opinion, anyway. Unless you're, like, 100% sure you can kill them, but, but look at... It's like, I'm half HP, but, I don't know, I'm just kind of just relaxing. He's probably got the momentum on me, it's fine, like... Okay, at this point, I'm not sure, I think that he used both remove shocks, so I'm like, okay, I see that. So what I do is I pop perfect parry here, and see if I can get him in a nice lock. Yep, I stun him, I see that, so I'm like, yes! And I attempt to like wait for the weave, and I also failed the knockdown. Kind of sucks. I mess up on the weave between meteor and incandescent a lot. It's kind of annoying. There's like a smaller delay in between those. I think I'm not sure. No. I also have my insta heal up. And I pop my 3 minute cooldowns. Oh, by the way, he's using a blind godson, as you can see there. It's pretty nice for Channer v. Channer. Sans is nice, too. If I didn't have Sans, I'd use Para, though, for Channers. Just throwing that out there. Yep. Good old extendable range saves the day again. Point with this one next. I have it labeled as D9. So I can remember that. Look at that super early sounds, Godstone. It's really nice. He has the potted too. I guess I can come and mention like the mantras he's using. He actually has four, four mantras, <laughs> which I, I don't really like care. It's like whatever. I just thought that's funny to mention. Oh, there he's at a range. He's also using Promise of Earth. I've never used that skill, and I probably never will. But I'm sure it's nice. I'll stick with the more damage, thank you very much. Plus you can pot that, um, I don't know if you're aware of that, but I get hit by it at some point and I pot it, I'll, I'll see eventually. Yeah, that's pretty fun, I never noticed that he was running protection mantra. <laughs> he also says after I think the fourth duel that he thinks a cleric healed me on side. I'll have to look at that too, might as well. That's what we're here for, right? <laughs> to see, review, understand what's going on. Oh, there we go, promise of Earth. I don't seem to be that slow. It's nice, I guess, but... Yeah. 
You'll also notice there's a lot of hopping going on. And I hate watching like hopping, but it's at the same time it's like it it's just a habit because when you are trying to jump shot certain things it also helps. Look at that, your move shot did hundred percent HP. I wouldn't have done that. And now I'm gonna protect the board face tank him because he popped um, blessing and he's gonna try to attack me. It's like yeah, he just see, soul crushing the protective ward, like that was a bad call too. We both knocked each other down the same time. But here we go, like yeah. See I that's another thing. I'm gonna start the next duel, but let's also mention this. I love to hold off using disorienting and annihilation until like the very fifty percent or below, usually unless the duel has been going on for too long. Cause I just love having those skills ready to be like, you know, I'm gonna kill you. It's over. <laughs> Goodbye. Bad idea. Oh, I never realized that I was bursting pretty nicely at the start of these. Must be the extendable. Just blame it on that. <laughs> Everything that happens is all because of the extendable. He also uses confident defense. You can actually get all three parry skills off if you use them. Or if you're like fast enough. It's just I don't care to use it that much because it's okay, but it's like... Okay, there. see there I used Annihilation because he got pretty low. I was like, yeah, might as well try. He's also got perfect parry. Of course they don't stun. Well, I, I stun him more. 